Welcome back guys. <clears throat> uh, in today's video I thought I'd take a look at a uh, an image viewer that I just heard about recently and uh, it's pretty nice. If you're looking for a lightweight image viewer slash editor uh, just for simple editing and I happen to be looking for that recently and I came across this program. Uh, it's readily available uh, in the now it's a ready, readily available in the Manjaro repos I so far wasn't able to locate it uh, for Ubuntu or Debian but I'm sure it's out there you'll just have to hunt down the PPA um, and add that to your Ubuntu uh, for your or your sources for Debian but in this case it's readily available in Manjaro so I went ahead and installed it and it's called Nomax. Now I've got it in my graphics and as you can see it's a uh, very simple uh, image editor slash viewer. Now I have a light theme so it's light themed but if I change to a dark theme uh, this actually conforms to whatever theme you're using. Now I'm going to show you some features and I just started digging into it recently but I'll show you the ones that I came across that are very nice. Now you can uh, open up a directory so if you wanted to open up all of your pictures um, so that's the first one now most of my photos in this particular directory are uh, wallpaper type but if I want to go to the panels for example you can put thumbnails along the top you see where it loaded up the thumbnails and you can scan through all of your photos you can slow down the scan depending on where you position and or you can speed it up um, so you can select a photo and you can also edit the photo. Now let's take a look at a couple of things before we do any editing. Let's take a look at a couple of things that panels that you can uh, put onto the screen. I'm going to pick a little a little bit different. Uh, let's see. How about the Manjaro? Okay. So if we take a look at this and we take a look at the panels that are available, uh, first of all, you can have an overview. Now you see this little thumbnail that it put in you can scan and enlarge the photo right from there if you want to look closely at the pixels or you want to do any um, inspection of the photo that's pretty useful now I'm gonna take that one out if you take a look at the player it puts a little player buttons forward back um, and a, a slideshow so you can scan through all of the photos. So if I take that off and I put up file information, you can see the file information. You can rate the, fo the photo. There's a one to five stars um, and the name of the photo. And also, uh, let's see. Uh, if you have any metadata it'll put it at the bottom of the screen so it shows you the path and any information that it might have in the system so we'll take that out and we'll take that out okay so let's take a photo I mentioned to you the other day that I um, had lost my my little Boston Terrier after 15 years actually her brother passed away in uh, April um, and so they died within a few months of each other her brother Buster was 16 and she was 15 and they both lived a long happy life we had them since they were born um, but let me take a look at one of Molly's pictures and we'll see if we can crop that this is Molly, when we hit, we had first got her about eight weeks old, I guess, eight to ten weeks old. She couldn't even climb the stairs at the time. Um, so 
if we go into edit as you can see you can resize now there's also a batch resizing uh, there's batch processing here tools yeah batch processing so you can resize transform uh, so there's all kinds of features that I haven't really dug into but you could do batch processing with this whoops I closed it by mistake let's take a look okay so if we wanted to crop and let's say we wanted to edit and we go to crop image let's see how easy this will be keep in mind I haven't used it before but let's say I want to just crop little Molly okay and let's see Okay, so you just click the crop again, and then I'm sure I'll have the option to save the file. You can overwrite it. So if I don't want to overwrite, I can give it a different name. I'll call it uh, Molly, and we'll save that. Okay, so now let me open the directory and let's see. If it saved it. And if I sh I should have two photos. Hmm, I only see the one. Hold on, let's see. Ah, there it is. It put it into my pictures folder. see if I have the original yeah there's the original and there's the new one so here's the original and there's the new one so for simple photo editing and image inspection it's very nice it's fast lightweight not a lot of bells and whistles but it it gets the job done for for uh, times when all you want to do is maybe uh, resize some photos or crop some photos it's really uh, without opening up GIMP or whatever other uh, complex process you might have this does the job and uh, I like it. It's it's nice and simple, which I like. I like to keep things simple. So I thought you'd uh, thought you'd take a, like to take a look at that, guys. This is Nomax N O M A C S, and I'm sure it's available for Ubuntu and for Debian, uh, but but it's readily available in Manjaro. Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> I'm just going to tack this on to the Nomax video. Um, as I mentioned, I've I found it in uh, the Manjaro repositories uh, and I mentioned that I hadn't 
uh, when I did a search for it in Linux, uh, in Linux Lite and in Peppermint 6, which are Ubuntu distributions, I couldn't locate it. But um, I did locate it online. They have a website. It's called nomax.org. If you click on the download link, you can see that it's readily available for just about any operating system that you have. Windows 7, 8, and 10, Windows 2000, XP, Vista, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Fedora, Arch Linux, OpenSUSE, um, uh, readily available for Mac, FreeBSD, OS2. Um, and so I don't think you'll have any problem at all finding a uh, a way to download and use that. So it's a, it's a nice program, as I mentioned. Um, and so if there's a PPA, very easy to add the PPA, Ubuntu and Linux Mint, any Ubuntu distribution. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to point that out to you. You can get it easily online. Hope you enjoy. Take care.